Hello Dana and Wes. Uh, Dana, I'm working with you today. You're 34 years old and at the moment your main food is pancakes and waffles, cinnamon rolls, plain cheeseburgers, mac and cheese. Those are the main staples. It's a little bit of banana and look, some juices, but that's pretty much it. Yeah? Um, one of the main fears is sort of texture and ganging and you can't really um, pinpoint any particular reason for this change in any way. Okay. So, and thank you for this. It is very, you know, inspiring for other people. Thank you. Okay, so Donna, we just finished our session and something's in the microwave and you've opted to try a little bit of cold chicken slices. It's usually, you know, part of a sandwich or a little bit of mayo or something, but it's just so you know you can. Yeah. Okay, it's not the tastiest thing in the world. And just imagine that a lot tastier, warmer, in a you know chicken salad or chicken stir fry or something like that. Because I mean I really like chicken, but I don't eat cold chicken. <laughs> so really, if you can eat this, you can eat anything. I, I really mean that. I will have to agree with that. Yeah. Yeah. So just so you know, you can. That's a challenging thing to eat to start with, but you're doing it. Yeah. It really is a big achievement. Yeah. Yeah. How do you feel? Good. You feel good, yeah. Cool. So, let's... oh, you want to eat more? Okay. That is kind of. That is very true, though. Because like, even when I eat chicken, I'm dipping it in sauce. And it yeah, exactly. You know, it's just. You never eat it by yourself. Yeah, who eats just plain chicken? So you know, we, we make life more challenging in a way. So well done. Cool. Um, of the readily available foods, we've got the fruit salad or the other fruit. Okay, we'll pass that to you. There we go. So there an interesting thing raspberries. They've got a little kind of sharp kind of taste them. Tart, I should say. Mm. Yeah, they're quite sort of squishier, squishier than strawberries. Interesting. But strawberries are let down at this time of year. They're really tart, aren't they? Mm. Mm. I don't like them, <laughs> A lot of people don't like them, just they're too tart, not because, you know, this is, yeah. The taste is quite intense. You've opted something in taste, like some water. <laughs> Let me just pause this and give some water. So that is a piece of, um, that's a good idea, mango. I'll chop a little bit of that because the golden one is usually a bit nicer. Um, yeah, and you just mentioned that the raspberry, just the taste was a bit intense and the texture was a bit unexpected, but yeah. So here we go. So mango should be sweet. Okay. Better. <laughs> well, it's juicy. It's juicy, oh, yeah. yeah. Very juicy, yeah. And pineapple is usually very juicy, but that looks actually a bit dry to me, the, the white one. Oh. Yeah. My job is so much easier in summer with fruit. Yeah. Oh, you like the mango? Yeah. Mm. Oh, weird. Yeah. <laughs> Some settings uh, are still a, need to be adjusted. We just finished our work at any time. So, again, think things do. You know. That's pineapple, yeah. And it's, oh, look how hard it is, yeah. Okay. It might be too hard, actually. You you need to get a little sweeter one because that looks like a rock. So yeah. this is kiwi. How does you, that work? Um, you you can eat actually the whole thing. The seeds in the middle are, are very very thin. You can eat the green flesh on the side as you wish. Yeah, just amazing, just shame. Like, <laughs> no, you're, you're, eating, you're eating it, let alone touching it. Yeah, it's pretty yeah. cool. She wasn't even like you could touch anything. You couldn't even no. touch it before. Yeah. yeah. How long have you been together for, Wes? Two years. Two years, okay. So it must be quite interesting watching her just, you know, explore fruit. Yeah, it. <laughs> <laughs> so. so you just eat the seed? You just eat the seed. Okay, it's probably a bit better in summer, it's sweeter, yeah. Hmm, mm, so-so. When she was asking me, I was like, I kind of like pineapple, but I like the juicy pineapple. Yeah, that, 
Yeah, juicy pineapple strawberries, and I'm afraid that Those does not look juicy. Yeah, cut that. You can cut that in half, you can take a bite. I bought some strawberries that day, they're a little bit watery. They're not, again, firmer and sweeter because they need sun. They're not so overpowering though. Yeah, they, they are easier to eat, they are sort of less powerful tastes. You can eat the outside too. Yeah, you can eat the whole yeah, thing, it's actually. Whole thing. Yeah, it's quite juicy, you're not expecting <laughs> to get a tissue. You're not expecting some of the juiciness of these things. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I like that. <laughs> but you ate it. Can I just take a piece? Because some of them. Oh. I have no idea. That, is, that doesn't taste sweet at all. That's just water. Is it? That's just not very nice. Yeah. I have no idea any of it. So, we were a little bit let down by our fruit at this time of the year, but you tried everything. Yep. And even when you didn't like something, you tried something new. So that shows a part is exploring. Very good. So I'm going to get the stuff, the lasagna, no, the ravioli. So okay. back in a second. I did notice there's a lot of the dishes that are, like you say, bland. There's almost no salt in them. Yeah, there's, uh, and that needs salt. Mm -hmm. I'm just trying to. It definitely needs, rather than usually, salt for a processed yeah. food. Well, I was actually kind of liking that a little bit. I was like, in mm. America, the, everything mm. we have, the salt content, the sodium is, is ridiculous. Too high. I think some of our foods are 2,800 milligrams oh my just gosh. for one serving. Oh my gosh. So it's, it's very high. Get people addicted onto stuff. Yes. You put sugar and salt enough in anything, it'll, people will eat it. Yes. That's true. So what do you think of ravioli? I'm not crazy about it, but... Let's have a look at that. Yeah. So it's very tomatoey. Mm -hmm. You're not crazy, you know, supermarkets go crazy on the sauces. If you have that in an Italian restaurant, they don't drown it in sauce, they just kind of drizzle it. It's it's not quite so soggy, yeah. So it will definitely taste better in a restaurant. Something. And I can still. But you can still eat it, indeed. Yeah. I, I guess that really is the point. This is probably your lowest grade food. Yeah, yeah. That's what, I mean, I make my life difficult because, you know, there's no time for any changes straight after with the worst food. Yeah. Right? I mean, if you can eat this, you can eat anything. You know? <laughs> That's the, that's the plan. That's actually the plan. You so, this, you yeah, you really can eat any restaurant food. Let's put that there. So you can just chop this. 